Hi, I'm Ross Reynolds, and we're here to have a dinner and talk about death and talk about life. The idea behind this partly just came from interviewing Atul Gawande and hearing what he had to say about his own experience as a doctor, his own experience dealing with his father's death, his own experience in dealing with this whole question, the dilemma, particularly from the medical side, but also from the personal side. And so the, we had the idea of trying to have a longer panel discussion about it. And so that's why you're all here this evening. And it will be a conversation. So we'll be eating, talking, eating, talking, just as though we were at a, a real dinner party, which this actually is. It's a real dinner party. Well, Hayden <laughs> and Debbie Smithson are the people who are, have made the food this evening. So I wanted to kind of, before you, I have you introduce yourselves, <clears throat> I wanted to have Hayden just talk about the concept behind this meal. Um... When we were asked to do it, uh, it was fantastic. Uh, I loved the um, the idea of being able to translate my art uh, cuisine into something conceptual, you know, as opposed to music to poetry. I, I wanted to do food to poetry. Um, and over the course of uh, building this menu, uh, my father became very ill. The day before he died on his deathbed, him and I were discussing and uh, planning this menu together. Uh, so this is my father's influence and uh, the gift before he passed. Uh, so that's, that's, that's how the menu came about. Nice. Details to follow. We'll be hearing more about each course and also a quotation to go with each course yeah. from Hayden as the evening goes on. Before we get to our first course though, you're going to have to uh, pay for your meal in effect by introducing yourselves and just tell me a little bit about <clears throat> who you are, what you do and how you got interested in this idea of conversations about death. People might not know what a death doula is. What is a death doula? It's kind of like a birth doula at the opposite end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in birth, a doula assists the midwife and the midwife uh, sometimes assists a physician or operates entirely on her own. I try to attend to whatever needs the person has at an emotional, spiritual level as well as tuning into what they need at a physical level. I'm sure we'll talk more about that. <laughs> Who are you and what do you do and what's your involvement with conversations about death? I'm Greg Van de Kieft. I'm a palliative care physician in Olympia, Washington. And over the course of my training, I realized we are very well trained in treating diseases, but not as well trained in how we can really develop relationship and care for sick people and over time moved into the field of palliative care where that's really sort of the centerpiece of what we do. I'm Trudy James and I'm a hospital chaplain, long-time hospital chaplain. My life was impacted uh, early on. My first baby died for one thing when she was four days old and my father took his own life when I was 35 years old. I, I handled those deaths the way most people handle death. I moved on. I, I did what I was supposed to, held my head up and moved on. I am a medical oncologist and palliative care physician at the University of Washington and the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. I've done uh, research over a period of years looking at how um, physicians and patients talk about issues of prognosis, uh, decision making. Um, and transitions to end-of-life care. And working in oncology, I feel like I've been working right at the borderline between all the technology and all the big things people face uh, when they're at a point where, you know, the usual kind of medical care isn't really doing the job anymore. So there's conversations that doctors have with patients that maybe doctors should have among themselves and that families should have together and maybe we should have with ourselves. And we're going to talk about those conversations about death.